could work. Uh, let me just state two questions and three comments, ask you to get to them as time allows, or get back to me or the committee uh, with your answers. Uh, first of all, um, ARPA-ED, kind of what do you imagine doing with the $90 million and why is it important? Uh, secondly, um, in your legislative proposal, you propose ending the year-round uh, or summer Pell Grant uh, programs. Um, why are you picking on that? Is it they are already determined to be, they're, only, they're new and relatively new, are they already determined not to be as successful? Uh, why did you choose to cut there? Uh, my three comments or concerns. Um, I, I, I remain concerned that the math and science partnerships are combined under teacher effectiveness and that puts science in competition with oh, gender equality and foreign languages and, and, uh, and other such things. And I, I, I question the wisdom of that. Um, also, uh, you're celebrated for your competitive grants and, and indeed you have shown how, uh, how the, the competitive uh, instinct uh, gets people to work hard. Um, but if, they, if the best practice is not replicated and extended, um, it turns out to be very inequitable. And I, I guess I'd like to know what measures you are applying to see that in, I, I, again, this is new too, so I mean, you've only been at it for a couple of years, but what measures are you applying to see that the competitive grant actually results in well, lifting all boats. Um, and um, I had a third concern, uh, but maybe I will let it go. Oh, yes, it just um, I, I'll let it go at that. Th thank you, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> so on uh, ARPA-ED, and I appreciate you bringing that up, what I've said repeatedly is that I think the education sector has uh, lacked the transformational change that other sectors have had. I think technology can be uh, an amazing, can do an amazing job of equalizing opportunity and accelerating learning. Um, I think we have to be much more uh, thoughtful there. We need to invest more in R&D, and this is a chance for us to invest in uh, a set of players that could potentially transform the learning for, for young people. And I think we, a part of our job is not just to deal with the day-to-day -day issues today, but to look over the horizon. Um, what DARPA has done, I think, is pretty extraordinary. And if we can see those kinds of transformational uh, changes in the education sector, in part due to our investment, uh, that would be a, a, a hugely important uh, piece of work that we could do for the country. Um, on Summer Pell, we discussed it some, uh, with a couple of times that, again, in an ideal world, in flusher times, this is not a choice I would have you know, begun to thought about. Um, in very tough budget times, you have to make tough choices. Uh, the Summer Pell was set up with an estimate of a couple hundred million dollars a year, and it's ended up being a couple billion dollars. And uh, it's, again, I would love to, in a perfect world, we would continue that. I just think in very tough budget times, we have to make tough choices. And our, our choice was to try and maintain the commitment to, for uh, the $5,550 for Pell for everybody. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. Um, Mr. Miller, you're recognized for any closing remarks. I'm not taking any more of the Secretary's time. Thank you, Mr.